So we're in upstate New York and it's bloody cold. <laughs> it's uh, round about freezing point, one or two degrees. Uh, and this is a little town called Woodstock, famous for, well, Woodstock, uh, which was actually on a farm just outside town. Uh, yeah. What would be so bad if it wasn't so bleeding cold? I'm probably going to go on about it being cold all the time now. But um, I'm back in the north and it's um, early March. I don't even know what date it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a wander around. So I guess only to be expected, there's uh, one or two strange people around here. Looks like a couple of them arrived in 1969 and never left. <laughs> um, guy in flares, a guy playing a uh, didgeridoo. Did I mention it's cold? Because <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, just taking a drive back through the countryside now. I mean, obviously all the, a lot of wooden buildings and a lot of, um, I guess fairly typical for this area wooden shingles on the buildings and whatever so it's uh, all pretty cool really peace and love man Kingston on Hudson River. Hudson River that flows through New York. Um, hardly the most scenic place in the world. Big bridge, big bridge, another big bridge, lots of bridges across the river. Um, a bit mild today. I'd like to tell you lots, but it's kind of just kind of wintry scenes in rundown towns on the Hudson River. Um, there's Woodstock and there's places like that which are kind of fine, but it's just in the end just another little town, so um, yeah. Out of the places I've been to on this whole trip, you know, all the places I've visited, uh, I don't know, you know, <laughs> Vladivostok and, and uh, Khabarovsk in Russia had more going for it than some of these little towns in America, which are just kind of a bit run down and a bit worn out and not a lot there for them. I don't know. I don't know where seem to be much in the way of money floating around and, and lots of things happening. All the hotels and the bars kind of seem a bit flat. I don't know. Um, well, stood at an information board that says this used to be a big coal transfer. That's gone as well then, so a few pleasure craft but obviously it's March and rain a lot going on. Don't know where everyone is, but they're not here. Time I wasn't either. Bear Mountain, grr. Um, it's warmed up considerably. Uh, no, 
that weather report said it was going to warm up as this week went on, so, so suddenly the sun's out and everywhere's a lot warmer. Um, the road up to the top is still closed off, there's a sign across it, I guess it's closed for the winter season. It's like there's a road right to the top of the mountain, which is kind of up there. Um, we can't get there at the moment, so come back down to the car park, hotel, gift shop. Bridge over the Hudson, don't know if you can see that through the trees. So, so despite it being midweek, there's quite a few people around, so I can imagine this place probably in the summer is absolutely rammed. Uh, there you go. Called in at West Point, the military, US Military Academy. So, driving down the road and suddenly there's a gate there with some soldiers up. I figured I couldn't go down the road. So I turned around. And kind of just checking out different places really as I pass them today. So uh, it's it's nice that it's warmer <laughs> instead of the icy cold it was when I first got here. So I reckon it'd be alright if it wasn't for the Americans and their Harleys. Lots of bikes on this road. Uh, the road that goes up into the mountains is quite twisty. Uh, and obviously the sun's come out and it's warm and there's a few bikes out today. But they've got a 45 mile an hour speed limit on the road and I've seen a couple of few cool cars on it so mostly the bikes that are up there and there are some sports bikes that are on Harley's they're just cruising along so This is it, the end of the road for um, uh, travel outside the UK. Just careful. Uh, been around the world. So, got a flight this evening, flying to Dublin, then to London, hopefully to pick up my bike. But we'll see whether that's going to happen or not. Um, coming into Easter weekend, so who knows. So, yeah, kind of, I can't say right now how I feel because it's kind of difficult to do. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do an ending uh, at a later date. Um, it's not the end really, I've got to pick up my bike yet and get home, so maybe that's when I do the and speech if you like that I haven't even thought about but it seems like um, yeah, kind of heading home being around the world baby so anyway airports are never much fun kind of sitting waiting um, see where we get to well I know where we're going to get to again to Dublin still moving on. <laughs>